What's going on with it once again, ladies and gentlemen, bros, women, fanboys and fangirls, as always, people who manual tacos and people mortars out there. It's Nintendo Sony Free 2011, aka Manny Wolverine. You guys in wrestling interest on your short channel on Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff. Very, very quickly before I begin, I gotta give <laughs> every single one of you guys. I'm not sure who it was, but I gotta appreciate the beauty and the epicness as hell because like I said before last week, it's been like three years almost the last time I reacted to anything that battle which it kind of sucks because, like, I still got a copyright claim anyways after I fucking did the upload it after one or two minutes. Lucky it wasn't a strike, but I'm telling you, if anybody out there can help me, or you could just go on my Twitter or Instagram or my personal one. I don't know if you want to still PM me, even on fucking, like, my personal Gmail account. You want to PM me over there? Like, um, I don't know. I'm not saying because, like I always say before, I don't really make money off of any of this shit. I just like doing it for fun most of the time. I already have an IRL job, as most of you guys know, in real life, <laughs> off of YouTube. But um, that's my main bread and butter. That's how I pay bills and shit around the fucking house. But anyways, yeah, you can tell me how to avoid that for some sort of way. Hey, you know, um, that would be very, very um appreciated. So if you ever want to reach out to me, you can go down there. It's not just for business inquiries like some of these other fucking YouTubers like to do, or just big personalities, or fake half the time. But yeah, um, man, I gotta give you thank you very, very much. Like, I already got like, I know it's not a really, really big thing, but for my channel, like, fifty plus views. Hey, that's that's really cool. That I guess that goes to show me myself personally. Hey, some of you guys still like watching my reactions. I don't know if it had to, anything to do because I only uploaded it two days after like the Duck Battle official channel, um, uploaded it to their channel and shit like that, etc. And then. They made it well known and all this stuff. I think he got like 2.1 million views as far as I know. So yeah, thank you very much for that, man. Because, I mean, with that said, I guess some of you guys still like it when I do reactions. Even though, that's not like the main, what the main priority of my channel was. A couple of years ago, seven, eight years ago when I started doing this channel. Because I still had other my main channel. If any of my old school fans, if I have anyone, you remember my Criticism Guy channel. You remember I used to upload videos there a couple of times. I used to say it here all the time, but. I haven't uploaded a video in there like four or five years because, cause, um, what's it called? A lot of this stuff was super negative as fuck. I know I act negative on here, but way less compared to that one where I talked about a lot of stuff, like the theory stuff. That's a, nowadays, YouTube doesn't like that. They don't like it when you expose stuff like trying to wake people up and shit about the Freemason, the Minati garbage and all that. I, I don't really talk about that very much anymore. I still believe in that for person myself. But at the same time, just it's a lot of negative, depressing shit. Sometimes mentally and emotionally, that I've seen it. Even other truth or community channels, it eats them the fuck up alive, man. Honestly, it does. It's not really good for your mental stress, you know. Mentally, if I'm not gonna say it fucks you up, but to a certain extent, it kind of does that. Yeah, that's all I gotta say for that. Oh, and if you hear my loud ass fan in the background, I can't really. I could do something about that, but it's really hot as fuck in here. And uh, my AC thing's kind of not working again, so I'm going to have to wait till either this week or next week to get that shit fixed. Because I'm starting to get cool out now. Over here in fucking um, Nevada, a.k.a. over here in Vegas, where I'm at, um, it's actually, it's been weird. And it's the fucking bullshit price of living in the desert. I'm not going to get too much into it, but so I really want to get in this video gaming news really, really badly. But yeah, I'm expect to kind of sort of see it. I'm not making no promises, but at least once a week. I did say once a month I was going to start doing it, and then I was going to do it almost all the time. By the time 2020 comes back, if I can get a good investment and a really good, not like a real professional camera, I want to try to get something maybe like six or eight hundred dollars. Even though it's a lot of money for me, but you know what? I'm willing to spend that much money if you guys like seeing my reactions. I'm just saying, just putting it out there. So uh, I know you guys can't see it, but uh, I can see it on my phone. So it says uh, my shooty night. I can never say that girl's last name right. I think it's shoot shoot a night or shoot on him or shirani. <laughs> It's too booby for the good boys and girls of Smash Bros. And now that's a meme. <laughs> so it says Super Smash Bros. Director. As most of you guys know, I've talked about them a lot in this channel. If you haven't been following it. There's a bunch of other stuff I want to talk about too. Um, da -da 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 -da. Masahiro Sakurai did a 48 minute deep dive into the game's new character. SNK's Terry Go Bogart in his new stage on Wednesday. The stage of King of Fighter Stadium has many of the franchises... Favorite characters like Geese Howard, King, Blue Mary, Athena, Iori, bouncing around in the background. However, there is one SNK character that isn't there, 
and will never be at it. Unfortunately. Da, 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 da. I think I screwed that up. Hold on. I was reading from my phone. Oh, yeah. Sakurai put his hands together during the video and faced the camera and noted that my shooting eye was not. will not have a cameo in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate because the game is for quote unquote. I'm not sure he actually said that himself. That's wild if he did. I don't know if these SJW third wave feminist dumbasses fucking said it themselves. They didn't, they can go screw up. But if it was from Mr. Sakurai himself, I give him a green pass for that shit, man. He's cool as fuck. Good boys and good girls of many different ages. <laughs> oh, and um, they say it themselves, but it's funny as hell. You'll see it in the bottom. One look at my shooting eye, and everyone immediately realized she's not included in this family-friendly game. She's a massively popular character and one of the main female mascots for the SK franchise. If you're wondering why my um voice sounds really tired as fuck, because I'm very, very fucking tired. I did like a double over hours, like almost 10 fucking hours I had to do for work. So that's why I'm tired of shit right now. So second I'm done with this video, I'm going straight for like a maybe three, four hour nap. Luckily, I'm off tomorrow, so I got to work tomorrow, thank God. But let's move on. But her outfit was just too skimpy. When Sakurai didn't explain explicitly explain why Mai was not included, we could probably guess it had something to do with her lack of clothing. Naturally, Twitter went into working, making memes about Mai's bodilicious bod. <laughs> it's probably to say bootylicious or tittylicious and stuff. I'm just fucking saying. <clears throat> Is what's preventing her from getting a sweet Smash Bros. cameo? You know what's the funny thing? Nintendo decided a couple years ago. It's wild. I don't think nobody was even thinking about this because I know I guess to a certain extent I'm gonna get not gonna get too much into it for overall thoughts using the pants. I will say this though, they had like zero suit Samus. They made her a little bit sexual. I guess in a way they kind of made her sexual. They know I think the Nintendo developers over there when they made the graphics and stuff for this game, they know that crowd of audience. I'm not gonna lie because I used to be one of these fools. I used to like looking at girls that had nice big tits and a really cute ass and everything. That's hot. That's a naturally as a man myself. That's going to be sexually fucking attracted to me. And plus, they're like fucking fantasy video game characters. They don't fucking exist in real life. So really, it's not really against the law, to be honest. So it's not fucking hurting anybody. Like, why did people think on Twitter all of a sudden, oh, it's misogynistic if you fucking think about it. Well, fuck off. If you don't like what I fucking like to see in my life, then go fuck yourself, pretty much. That's only for the SJWs and the third wave films. Everybody else, you're chill as fuck with me. Anyways, uh, let's move on. Uh, oh, this is where I said it right here. Warning, the images below. Oh, yeah, and then, then they put Bayonetta. That, that wasn't even a Nintendo character, but she was officially Nintendo IP because I remember the first Bayonetta, she was for originally from Sony's Platinum Games, and then I guess Platinum Games got bought out by fucking Nintendo. And, like, she is a very, very beautiful, over-sexualized fucking witch character. Very, very beautiful, very sexy, very cutie fucking patootie. That's for damn sure. Her and, um, Sam was Aaron, but like it's weird they didn't put mine. So I don't know why Nintendo decided not to add her in there. I mean, it, yeah, it's cool they had the Terry Bogard dude officially. So I think he came out a couple days ago officially because we know a few months ago, I think it was March or April, a couple months back earlier this year, he was announced to be a Smash Bros. Ultimate. So there's that. That's cool. I'm not going to guess Terry Bogard. I don't know that much about him because I never got to play that much old school King of Fighters. I didn't play that shit to probably like the PS2, PS3 era around that time. That's when I started playing a little bit. I never played it a lot. I still did play a lot of Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat at that time, so that took up way more of my time than King of Fighters, so I'm kind of a noob when it comes to that King of Fighters shit, unfortunately. Warning, the images below teetered uh, not safe for work, but you saw the headline and you probably know what you're getting yourself into. There goes all the memes there. <laughs> let me in. Oh, of course they want to let you in, huh? I think that was from that thing, the Tim Derek Andre thing. <laughs> oh, man. These memes are fucking wild, man. Fuck them kids. Good boys and good girls. <laughs> Smash is for good boys and good girls. <laughs> oh my god. No my shooting eye. That sucks. Who wouldn't have guessed that this one dude named Walt, who would have guessed that it wasn't Ridley was too big for Smash Bros. It was mine. I think that was an official Capcom. I don't know if Capcom was the one that created it or not. Or Square Saw back in the day created? I don't know. And there's a bunch of other memes too. So this Dead or Alive developer Team Ninja is doing, oh wow, and joining the fun on Twitter, but nothing more that you could play as mine Dead or Alive 6. Though the company welcomed players to the world of adults will drop in like my stink. Shooting them. I don't know sure if this really came from Sakurai or not, but it did come from Team Ninja. I don't know if Sakurai owns that too, because I know he owns the 
Little Sora Limited Studios. So I'm not sure the Mr. Daddy freaking Sakurai himself actually got this shit on Twitter. I don't know. It is what it is. Uh, overall thoughts, these opinions, I don't really care. The girls with really big bouncy titties and stuff are around. I don't get offended by that. I know some women. A lot of them, no offense. It's, if you look at most of that, the majority of the SJWs, but most of them are fat, ugly pieces of fucking shit. And this is coming from myself personally. You know, I'm a fat ass fucking dude, but I'm not a fucking woman. Maybe if I was a woman, I probably would have been that shit. But they got in a fucking knot because huh, that would have sucked a lot of balls. I'm glad in this fucking lifetime I was born and I'll always be and I'm going to die as a fucking man. Thank God. Because I fucking love women. Sometimes even back when I was a teenager, I used to be a fucking womanizer. And I had a big, not to get too personal, I had a huge fucking problem with that. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> and it did get me, I'm not going to lie, in trouble a few times here and there. I kind of got suspended a few times. Not because of, like, sexual harassment or any of that fucking shit, but other reasons. Sometimes I did get into a few fights here and there, too, but for dumb reasons. When you're a teenager, you do a lot of dumb ass shit. Luckily, me, when I was in my 20s, and even now in my 30s, I don't do that shit anymore. So, anyways, um, this one's really fucking crazy here. Um, I heard this from fucking Spawn Wave Media, so I'll leave the link to that dude's channel down below. Sony Interactive Entertainment. Oh, yeah. PS2, PS5 cartridges. That's this is all rumor, so I don't know if it's 100% official, but it is what it is. Sony Interactive Entertainment patent another game cartridge, igniting speculation of PS5 game cards and the rebirth of the Vita. But don't get too excited yet. We've all heard this before. Let's go digital spot an interesting game cartridge on the Sony patent so we actually can't find the patent ourselves for further investigation. But Outlet says that the patent was fi filed in June of this year and updated this month. Now everyone thinks Sony is making new Vita handhelds on that and the PS5 will run on game carts. One more ridiculously than that, that it was a kind of handheld console hybrid. None of these are likely in fact. In fact, the patent is probably from Sony's Tolio, hopefully it's Tolio, hopefully I said that right, Lying for the kids and actually yes, the PlayStation hardware. This isn't the first time, ah, oh, fuck. You guys can read the rest of their own. It's a super long ass article. This isn't the first time everyone pre prematurely freaked out about the Sony cartridge patent. Back in 2018, Sony Interactive Entertainment filed a similarly game cartridge pat patent that led to a rampant speculation, but everyone was disappointed, of course. It turned out in 2018, car patent was Sony's line of electricities, well, excuse me, electronics children toys. And not major consumer for PlayStation product. If any people are wondering what it looks like, I think mean, there's some more patent things here. I could be wrong, but my overall thoughts, using pins, I don't know if they're really going to do it. This might be Jim just like getting people hyped for the PS5 like they usually are with Sony. You know, it's a Sony Computer Active Entertainment Company. Whatever they're going to do to sell product, they're going to fucking do it. Regardless of what other, anyone else says. I'm not sure if this is really what's going to fucking look like. I think this is the picture here, so I don't know. I guess I'll leave the link to the picture down below. Not really much to say about it, but if they ever do bring these other cartridges instead of... At least they're not doing discless CD shit like the next Xbox generation console is going to be doing. Thank God. So Sony still kind of, in a way, still sort of cares about their fans, and that's a good thing. As long as they give us fan service, that's all I fucking care about. Me personally. That being said, that's all I'll see you for now, and I'm done. Links to subscribe to below, and I'm done. Peace out once again, ladies and gentlemen, bros, women, fanboys, and fangers, and as always, otakas and nikki commodities out there. I will see you when I see you today. Have a good night, wherever you're at in the universe out there. Stay tuned more future article session reviews, including video game industry news, and manga news, internet news, and the wraps of the video. Peace out, Milan Sauerkraut. Late saying goodbye. I'll see you on the people on the flip side. Later.